Hello, how are you? Just want to say happy Thanksgiving. And um, hope you'll spend it with families or friends. Or even by yourself, it doesn't matter. I think Thanksgiving is the only holiday that I really don't mind. I don't know if I want to say celebrate, observe, maybe another word that is better. I have a dinner here at my house with my family and that's about all. Just getting together with family members. But as you, if you have been watching my videos, you know that I don't celebrate these pagan holidays. Today I want to talk again about these aliens. It's extremely important. I know people are not interested in this subject. Not very many people. And unless I connected to the uh, rapture, people are not interested at all. But we need to be getting interested in it. We need to open our eyes because it shows us very clearly who is running this world, who is running our government. I made a video um, I don't know if it was one video ago, two videos ago with the dollar bill. And I don't think I went deep enough into the connection of aliens or fallen angels and our government and what huge part they play. I'm becoming, I'm kind of realizing that more and more lately. I think the Holy Spirit is just opening my eyes to that lately. Because I always knew that these aliens are fallen angels. But I kept thinking, oh yeah, the Jesuits are the ones that are meddling in our government. And yes, they have, you know, they have meddled in our government and in our, um, uh, you know, not just politics, but education and finances. Yes, they have. But I believe there are fallen angels behind this meddling. Yes, they're, they're using certain people that are, let's say, conducive. I think that would be a good word to their plan. They choose certain corrupt people, certain evil people that they know will bring forth their plan. And I'm realizing that again after Trump chose his cabinet. I would think Trump just preached the opposite of what he just did with this appointing of the cabinet members. Peace, peace, he wants peace. And then the cabinet members are reflecting just the opposite. I've said in that video, in my previous video, that he was supposed to, somebody, chose for him. And, of course, we can say the deep state. I used to say the Jesuits, the Vatican. But I'm coming to the conclusion that it is really the fallen angels. And, yes, Lucifer is hiding someplace in the Vatican, no doubt in my mind. And these fallen angels are scattered all over all over in various important positions, what we call the deep state. 
I wouldn't be doubting it, or doubting if there's a whole bunch of these fallen angels, of course, working in our government. I made a video about alien disclosure, the last hearings in front of Congress. And it seems like they're avoiding to talk about these aliens or these entities that create these UFOs. And that came out very clearly that they are. It's technology from not Earth, non-human. Even if they uh, re... Uh, what is that, engineer or, yeah, re-engineer um, the technology. It's still coming from non-human technology. And so then we have to ask, well, where is this technology coming from? I also saw an interview with a guy a astronomer, really scientific astronomer. People, it's not somebody that, you know, just does research or what. No. He's been studying that for all his life. He's a scientist. And he's saying that there's no way we can even travel to... I mean, he says the, 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 the further we travel, the more likely is it that we don't... Um, uh, make it there. In other words, that we are destroyed. The bigger the craft, the more likely we are destroyed. And the further we go, the more likely we are destroyed. So we have no, there's no way we are going, we would ever end up on a planet that can sustain life as we know it. So the only way that these beings, or the only place where these beings could come from, is interdimensional. And of course, you will see that I'm going to have a little blurb on the bottom from Wikipedia that says, oh, it's just a theory. I don't care if it's theory. Any scientific method starts with a theory. So that's what I'm starting with. Prove it. No, they don't want to prove it. They don't even want to talk about it. Well, these beings are from another, I don't know, let's say dimension. We don't even know. We don't even understand everything. So who are these beings? And you know, if you've been watching my other videos, you know I believe they are the fallen angels. Is that theory? Well, as a Bible believer, we only go by the Bible. And the Bible is telling us that God created other beings. No, not on other planets, but in heaven, which is another dimension. At least that's what I, how I perceive it. And these beings are not three-dimensional beings. They're spiritual beings. We call them spiritual beings. That means from other dimensions. However, these spiritual beings can take human form. And they have been here forever. And they have a leader called Lucifer. And that leader rebelled against God. And a third of the angels rebelled against God. And we see that in Revelation 12. And they were thrown out of heaven. Revelation 12. They were thrown out when Jesus defeated Satan or Lucifer on the cross. That was the end. He was defeated. He lost the right to humankind. And that's when he was kicked out of heaven permanently. 
before he could go back and forth, as you know, with Job. But then that point, and read it in Revelation 12. Jesus was lifted up when he was crucified. Lucifer was defeated. And he was kicked out with his angels. And where do you think he went? On vacation? No. He now continued to actually make a home here on earth. And with all his angels, he made a home. And he made sure that he controlled this earth even more. And he deceived, he would deceive humankind even more. So they would not be able to accept Jesus. So in the past, I thought more, oh yeah, it's just Satan, right? Satan is here on earth and he's somewhere, you know, working with the Vatican. And in my last video, I was talking about the all-seeing eye on top of the pyramid, which is Lucifer. But people, I'm starting to realize more and more that it's not, these plans are not just coming from Lucifer. Of course, he is the final one. But I never uh, added really as much the fallen angels to this whole system. I thought, well, this is a human system, right? Deep state, uh, think tanks, the money, the merchants, Think tanks all the way up through the Vatican. I thought more, oh, it's the Jesuits that, you know, do everything. And yes, I believe the Jesuits have still part in it. The Jesuits are only people that are chosen by these fallen angels. Satan can't do everything. He places these, uh, I don't know how many, one-third of the angel. That's quite a lot. In strategic places. So there is a human hierarchy. And of course, mixed in with the human is also a spiritual. These fallen angels or aliens are in that hierarchy have major positions in that hierarchy. They can become or take human form. And I have talked about this alien disclosure and just the last one, the last hearing in front of Congress. And they're hiding, really, who is behind these UFOs. They admit now, oh yeah, there are... Uh, non-human flying objects but they're still not really talking about the aliens behind it the entities behind it why are they still hiding them of course they're not hiding them they're told that they should be hiding them because people if it comes out who they are, they have to be hidden. They can't just come out, oh yeah, they're aliens, and so where are they coming from? Oh, they're not from other planets, uh, because people will say, no, that's impossible. And so then they're coming from other dimensions, and so they have to prepare people to understand, oh yeah, parallel universes that don't even exist, right? I don't believe in you know, parallel universes. But that's what they're being trained to believe, right? That's where these people are coming from, or these aliens. See, people have to be retrained. They have to be retrained from believing in angels to believing in something else. And they're not done with their retraining. But people, if we're not careful, even the elect will be deceived.
because we are ignoring very important information. Yeah, people, usually Christians, so-called, they don't want to know about this stuff. Oh, aliens don't exist. That's the extreme, right? And even those Christians then that are saying, well, no, aliens exist and there are fallen angels or demonic forces. You know, they're still ignoring it. And I think they're ignoring because they are not aware how seriously involved these fallen angels are in our government. We think our government is totally neutral again, and these aliens are on vacation right now. They're in Florida, you know, having or whatever in the Bahamas or someplace, right? Some uh, exotic island, tropical island on vacation. Really? Satan is on vacation. I don't think Satan has been on vacation. You know, the reason why I came up with this idea is because I'm thinking, are human beings really that evil? I think as a whole, are we that evil? No. There's some that are distorted. Their brains are distorted. They're screwed up, and you can screw people up through various ways, like if you um, afflict a lot of pain on them, you know, especially when you're, they're young, you can train them and mold them in a certain way. When you, yeah, I don't know. I guess there are some individuals that allow themselves to be molded in an evil and hateful person. But ultimately, behind this whole selection process or this people are the fallen angels who monitor humankind. They are looking for people even in elementary school, middle school, high school, college, who have a certain character, who they can use and mold and who are easily misled and angered and whatever. And they're choosing these people and these people then are groomed into certain positions. I cannot imagine it any other way. There cannot be a human being over it that does that. You know, we can say, oh, the CIA, right? Oh, the CIA, they're out there trying to find these people, you know, like these, uh, they do all kinds of mind control, uh, all, uh, KM Ultra, whatever they, these mind control things are called. But again, the thing is, are maybe these fallen angels behind these things? Yeah, they may train people, again, certain people that they chose that go along with their evil way. Maybe they snuff their emotions out, their empathy out. I don't know what they do. Again, you can do that through mind control, through extreme pain. You can snuff out people's empathy center. And you can train and, yeah, train these little human soldiers. And yet there has to be behind all of that a mastermind. I think a, a not non-human. Because I don't think any human, and I don't know, let me know if what you think. Can human beings so be so corrupt that they don't mind destroying their own kind? Or do they have to be mind control before in order to do so? And again, these people, okay, are handpicked. 
I think there are recruiters out there that will, you know, pick these people. And when we go and go deeper to the deep state, which we call deep state, the question is, how many fallen angels or these aliens are behind it? That's the big thing. Let me know what you think. I want to wake people up. I want people to become aware. You know what? What happened with Trump's cabinet? I said in my last video was not Trump's doing. Somebody picked them. And I'll, I'll guarantee you that these people that were picked are all groomed people. They have been groomed from the time of early on. Early on, people. I don't know if it's high school. Early, early on. They have been chosen and groomed. Yes, they have a certain character through which they can be even more groomed. But then they're groomed and they're always, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, um, helped the ladder up, that they can go up the ladder. I believe that J.D. Vance is a person like that. Actually, I believe... Um, well, every person that is on that list is a person like that. From early on, they were groomed. Their character is a corrupt character that maybe has less empathy so they can be used. Easily manipulated through money, sex, whatever, power. But people, one of these aspects that, again, is new for me are these fallen angels. And how much are these fallen angels? And it's not just, oh, Satan is up on top, right? Giving the plan. No. These fallen angels are not on the sideline. Again, they're not in the Bahamas or in Hawaii or somewhere having a vacation and having a ball. No, they're having a ball with human beings in order for them to mislead them. And, you know, I haven't heard anybody really stress, stressing that. Even those people that um, make these videos about aliens. Christian people that make these videos about these aliens. See, they're all always seen as this impersonal, far away aliens. Okay? They're not getting involved in anything. Oh, they're peering here and there. See, that's easy to just be distracted. People are easily distracted. Oh, they're not involved in anything. They're just here and there and whatever. But if people would find out that these aliens are actually involved in our politics, and really that our politicians are only puppets, front puppets, a facade, behind which these aliens hide. And think about how many. Again, they're not on vacation. They have a plan. What is their plan? World government. And it's not a new order. On my last video on the dollar bill, Right? There's some Latin stuff on there with a, a new world order or something like that. No, it's not a new world order. 
They're going back to the old order. Think about the order that we had in the Middle Ages and the Dark Ages. That's the order they want to go in uh, under. Yes, our founding fathers, fathers had a new order in mind here in the United States. But that is gone. Why? Because these forces infiltrated into the United States, into the United States, everything, whether it's government, whether it's education, whatever. They took over again. These forces that had everything in their hand in Europe, yeah, I used to call them Jesuits, and of course Jesuits are still the front men, but people, it's not the Jesuits that are really the brain, okay, the thinking brain. It's the ones behind it, the fallen angels. They are the ones that have everything planned. And no, it's not a new world order. It's an old world order. Has been started long ago when the angels were kicked out of this, uh, out of heaven. Lucifer was kicked out of heaven. That's when he started making his or new order. That's how old his order is. Matter of fact, this uh, order, uh, new order, this what's on there on, on, on the dollar bill is actually was actually um, written by a Roman during the Roman time. It's not something new. It's not something, you know, American. It's not something new because Bush said it or some of the other politicians. No, the order is an old order. It's an old order. Been older than who knows how long. It's a kind of new because it was started, of course, when they were kicked out of um, out of heaven. So in that sense, maybe it was new then. We think, oh, there's something new coming. And no, they all have been working on that for 2,000 years. And it's all going back again to what? Total control. That's what they used to have during the dark, dark ages. Total control. That's what they want. They don't, they don't care who is enforcing that total control. They have the military already. It doesn't matter whether it's a king, whether it's a president, whether it's whoever. As long as these people are bowing down to the fallen angels and Lucifer on top. And again, the Pope is just a middleman. I think maybe I'm realizing that more and more. Just a middleman, maybe a distraction. I don't know. The more we focus on Jesuits and the Catholic Church, the more we don't focus on really who is behind everything. Because see, this big, huge mass of fallen angels that control everything has been ignored. Has been totally, totally ignored. Let me know what you think. Because it's kind of new to me. It's kind of new to me. I'm really glad when you um, give me messages. Uh, give me your comments. Again, share the video. Share the video. People need to wake up. Especially those video. I mean, especially those people that just blindly follow this political system. They're blinded. No matter what side they're on, people. They're a blind. Blind. Absolutely blind. No matter what side they're on. It's just extremely sad 
when somebody calls themselves a Christian. It's worse, of course, when people use Christian and they know exactly, and maybe they don't. Maybe they don't, they're going and they're deceived. Maybe again, they have been used by the fallen angels, personally by the fallen angels, brainwashed, conditioned, and are just being used, all of them. Let me know what you think, and let the Holy Spirit guide you always.